All right, now let's have a look at the X-Touch again, working with Cubase 8 Pro. And uh, I already did a few other videos, but this time I want to check the track encoder assignment. What can we do with this? So let me switch. By default, if I switch on the X-Touch, it will come up with a pan and surround setting here. And I switch to track. And immediately we can see in the uh, scribble strip that now we are configuring routing with the encoders. So, for example, the output bus, and we can use the channel buttons here to switch the pages. Now we are on page one of five. So let me just switch. There we get the monitor, then input bus, then input gain, and input phase. So let's see in detail what this does. First of all, I want to show you a little thing that you might not know, global view. If I press this button in Cubase, in the Mix Console, there will appear a window. Just let me press it now. Dang, there it is. And I can switch it off again. I can switch it on again. So that's pretty nice. So I leave it on for now, so we can see what I'm doing. Currently, I'm on channel 3, which is the bass track. And uh, as you can see, in the top of the mixer window, currently the routing input is MIG-1 and the output is stereo out. So let's see if we can change the output bus. If I turn this knob here, we can change it. No bus, stereo bus. And you see this reflected in the mixer window of Cubase that I change these. Okay? So that's basically the output bus. If I go to the next page, we have the monitor. That's basically just an on-off switch. So if I turn this knob, you can see in the Cubase window that we switch on and off the monitor. Yeah, you can see it. And here, also, it just says on and off. So that's all we can do on this page for these eight channels. Next page, input bus. So now we can change the input bus here. For example, MIG-1. And you see this in the Cubase window, in the channel settings window. Let me move the cursor here, there, MIG-1. And you can see it here as well in the routing. And here. So let me switch that again to some other inputs. I think you can easily see that changing. All right. Now, one more thing about this channel settings window here. The output you can't see here. It's stereo out, but here it's three targets. That's because this channel has three targets. The stereo out and these two sends. And that's why I can't see it here, how I change the output routing. Let's go back to the page on the X-Touch. Uh, sorry. To the output bus. If I change it here. Watch the Cubase window. You can see it in the mix console, but you can't see it in the channel settings because there's these three targets. If I touch the fourth fader, you will notice in the mix window that there is no sense configured. So immediately in the channel settings, I can see MIG-1 as the input and stereo out. At the, as the output. So there I can also easily see when I change these output settings. Okay? All right. Now let's switch monitor we had, active, deactive, input bus selection also we had. And now the next one is the input gain. 
So if we look at the channel settings, here's this little input gain that we can change. So let me try it for the channel 4. Here we go. And you can see the knob turning in Cubase easily. Yeah. So we can adjust this input gain. Let me get back to zero. Okay. Again, as always, usually this um, LCD scribble strip will show the functionality, and once you change something, it will switch to the display of the um, actual value. We can change that by pressing this display button, name value, and now I see all the values. This will disappear once I switch the fader bank, which I want to use. So I have to reactivate the value if I want to have. Okay. Next page, fifth page, input phase. Okay, let's have a look at the channel settings window in Cubase. Here is the phase switch. So let's have a look if we can change that. There we go. We can switch it on and off. Yeah. So that's basically all you can do in this track mode for the encoders. I think that's pretty nice. It's working. So, see you next time, next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.